Hey guys, I am so excited. The IOD reveal is happening right now. And the sisters just went live on their main page and shared all of the things. And so I now get to share it with you. So, dang it, I just, I don't know why the comments are not showing and I don't want to move because I am hiding the piece of furniture that I did using one of the brand new transfers. And I'm so excited to show it to you. I am going to move my camera because I don't want you to see it. I don't want you to see it. And so I'm gonna grab my laptop because I'm not sure, I don't know what's going on with Switcher Studio and I can't, I can't see the comments and I wanna be able to see them. So I want to interact with you and see your um, see your you know your comments because it is so much fun, y'all. It is so much fun. Um, I have very very limited quantities, um, and I will get more as soon as I can. I promise. Okay. So, I'm going to angle this down again. <laughs> All right, I'm so excited to show you. All right, let me know um, which ones is your, are your favorites. If you're, even if you're watching on replay, I want to hear from you. I just sent out an email to everyone that's on my email list. If you're not on my email list, go ahead. And I have, um, I have a, a couple of things out there asking people... Um, hey, Margaret, how are you? Asking people to join me. So, oh, my Mac is about to die. Y'all, I'm having issues, issues. But let me see, let me see that YouTube. I'm, a, I'm also streaming on YouTube. So I just want to make sure that um, that's going. Of course, my... All right, so let's go ahead and start showing you. If you watched the sisters do the big reveal, let me know in the comments. Tell me, if you already saw them, tell me what your favorites are. Let's start with the molds, because I have them right here. And we are gonna play. We're gonna create a few things. Um, so this one is called Specimens. Y'all, this is my least favorite because it's bugs. <laughs> but, but, I am going to be using um, like this little bee for sure. But everything that they showed that they did, it was really gorgeous. I just have a huge aversion to bugs. But if you did not see the big reveal, the um, molds now have the title on here so that when you stack them, you can actually see, you don't have to go through. I have all of mine like in baskets and it's hard for me to see and I can't ever find. This is genius, 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 genius. So you have all of these molds can be used for sugar arts. They can be, they're safe. They can be used for resin. They can be used for clay. Some people like to use glue in them. Um, so there's so many things that you can do with them. I mean, how funny would it be to make cookies, right? like for your kid's birthday party, that would actually be pretty cool. You could actually, uh, I know a lot of people do dough. You can make chocolates um, out of these. So there's so many things that you can do. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about that? That actually might be a cool idea to make some chocolates out of this. So maybe I won't use this one today and see. Um, that would be really funny. Like the kids would love that. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. And then I'll, I'll uh, make a post about it. So then this one, I, I love it. Conservatory labels. So these little labels are so great. They're great sizes, lots of different design elements. So think about like your mason jars or your, your vases, vases, however you would like to say that. Um, there's so many different ways that you can use this. You can, I mean, if you even wanted to put it on a drawer pull, I have this be the back, you know, that would be great to do. 
I'm thinking this would be really awesome on the front of your junk journal. And then there's something that will go with it that would make it over the top great. So I love this. And even just like organizing your storage containers where you store all of your uh, paint brushes and paint goods and junk journal items, like how awesome would it be to make your own little labels and have it be really, really um, awesome. Then this one, at first I was like, we have so many leaves, this is so different. They're different and I think they are gonna work great. It's called Veritas, I think is how you say it. Um, when I saw them show it and uh, it it's beautiful, it really is, it's beautiful. It's totally different type of foliage, foliage and um, I love it. So all of the IOD molds now, the newer ones, first of all, the, most of them are really dense. They're very deep. So, I mean, even think about the sugar arts. Like if you're decorating a uh, pie, you know, like how pretty would it be to make the dough out of this and then put it on there? That would be really, really pretty. I love me some apple pie. I think that would be great. So, but all of the molds give you like the grams um, let me see right here it tells you how much if you're doing resin or if you're doing clay like how much you're gonna need I had it upside down but um, it gives you the milliliters and the grams so that is really really helpful but this is gonna be great uh, for all kinds of things this is the one we're gonna play with today as soon as I saw it I was like oh my gosh like this guy right here and then I do like the cat um, and then look at that dog. And then what's this? The dog and this guy. I don't know, but I have, I have three containers that we're going to paint and I thought it would be so cool to put them on there. I might decoupage a little bit too. I'm not sure. I'm going to look. All right. So these are the molds. Now these are available on my website. I uh, <laughs> have very limited amounts of them. Um, this is the one of the transfers and I love this one because it's small. And so if you've never used the IOD transfers, this is a great way to start. There's eight pages and so I'm just gonna show you. Actually, I'm gonna open it and this way you can actually see what it looks like. They, every transfer comes with the rubbing the burnishing stick so when you open it up I'm gonna stand here there's lots of text you can cut the text out and use it for something else I love using transfers on paper so if you're doing a, a journal like you could cut this and use it in pieces you don't have to use it as it's as it's designed here um, so I love that there's a lot of typography and a lot of text on here. And then you've got the florals, perfect for spring. So whatever you're trying to embellish. Um, I'm so sorry, I just got a text message. Something terrible has happened here in our town. And um, some, Something terrible has happened in our town, and it's um, somebody poisoned strawberries, and people are really sick in the hospital, and somebody passed away. It's just terrible. Um, and my daughter just texted me some more information about it. I texted her earlier because we eat a lot of strawberries. So I'm like, do not eat any strawberries um, right now. So so terrible. So this is the rest of the, I love that the sunflower. I mean, this, these are a lot, this is a lot of projects. This is a lot of projects. So whether, like I said, you're doing um, a journal or some home decor that you're trying to jazz up, that one is a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show you the other transfer uh, that I already used last. So this is the other one. This, oh, I didn't even tell you the name. That one is called Lover of Flower. 
This one is called uh, Collage de Fleurs. It is also an eight page. And I like these, I like these when they're, um, but there's not a pattern. So you can make it your own. Ellen J. Goods, uh, Lynn Brunridge, she did a um, piece of wall art with a vase and had these sticking out. People are doing furniture. I mean, you can embellish anything and everything and you can make it your own. And so of course, always on the package, they give you some ideas of what it could look like. You could put as little or as many as you want and you can create, you know, create your own design. So, and I feel like these, <laughs> these colors are more than just spring. So get it now and then if you wanna use it for the fall, and then, you know, you got that one page with ivy and vines. And so you can do, and then look at these little purple flowers right here. Like how gorgeous are these? And then you've got two little vines here. And so you've got the leaves, you've got all kinds of stuff. And if you have other transfers and you had too many leaves, like, um, what's my favorite one with this? Um, Painterly Florals has a lot of leaves in there, different color leaves. You have extra leaves from all of the other transfers. You can incorporate them in here just to add some interest and diversity. So, or add the lavender, like mix and match and make it your own. So much fun. Did I, my, I lost, okay. No, I didn't. I knew my, hey Callie, hey Sherry. Um, sorry. I cannot see the comments on my phone and I don't know why, so I have them here. So if you have any questions, let me know. I can go back and look. All right, I'm loving this for journaling. Hello, paper crafting. They created this that I didn't even open it yet so that it has its own packaging so that you don't have to lose the, um, I need to take this off. You don't, you don't get to, you don't, you know, how many times do you wanna lose little letters? As a matter of fact, the other day I had a little girl here and I was pulling stuff out and some of my letterpress letters almost fell in the garbage because they're so little. And so I just um, picked, I just cleaned them up and picked them up and um, put them up so that I don't lose them. But look at this. I am in love with this. Because you can, if you want to keep this, you can keep these in here and look. They come in their own little cases, their own little envelopes. So tell me this is not perfect for stamping onto journals. And see how these little frames, you could use these in conjunction with those other frames. Like that would be really cool. Like if you're having a theme going, um, the mold. But look at those little laurels. <laughs> like I'm seeing stamping and embossing in my life very soon. So that's that one. That's this one. Super fun, and look at that little um, arrow with the hand. I love that, I love that. There's a Monahan paper that has that on there um, that I really like. Then these are the letters. So you've got capitals, you've got in two different sizes, and then you've got this bold capital, and then you have Roman numerals and these small capitals here. So they're all, four different sets of lettering, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, right? Tell me what you guys think about that. So that's a four pack and it comes with the envelopes, which is genius, 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 genius. All right. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play here in a second. But let me show you, uh, have three stamps, three more, like two stamp sets. Patiche, I think that's how you say that. Of course, the stamp sets come with the um, mask. I'm gonna show you the masks. The masks are now printed so that you don't have to worry about which side is what and how does it go. So the masks are there. And this is a two stamp set. So I'm just gonna show you. The first time you use a stamp, you wanna condition it. You take a light sanding sponge and you go in one direction and then you go in the other direction. It just gives it some tooth so that it'll hold your ink and your paint. Um, 
but then you can just keep them on here and store them however you would like. I have envelopes that I put them in. I love that little butterfly. I mean, if you don't have the, the Monarch butterfly stamp, like that's perfect. This lends itself to um, La Campagne. I love that stamp set. And you're gonna see more of that here in a second. But look at these cloches and these bird cages and, um, well, the bird cage is here. <laughs> there we go. And here's another critter. So if you wanted to have one with the stamp and one with the mold, you know, look at these little birds. Oh my gosh. And then I love these little florals, the fern, that little bird. There's some books right here. I mean, there's just so much. There's a little egg. This is a lot of fun. So, and then I, I didn't, I don't know if you saw the nest on there and then the feathers. So the feathers would be amazing stamped and embossed. Oh my gosh, right? How much fun is that? I'm gonna have some fun in the next coming weeks playing. And then they're all two stamp sets, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that or not. This one, again, um, it's gonna work with so many different ones. So I'm gonna show you, this one's called Mercantile. Yeah, Mercantile. So you've got the rooster, the laurels, you've got, look at these embellishments, the grain stamps, the sack, this grain sack stamp, like look. So that would be great, like even on a, a drawer, like you could layer it on the sides of the drawer or you can make some pillows, whatever. Look at that little horse, the cow, dry goods. And then the second one, all of these are available. They're on my website. They're in the spring 2024 collection. Um, so I just emailed that out. Look at 19, what does that say? 1879. I love, oh, I love that says number seven. I love the number seven. I don't know why. But look at that crown. I love the big laurel here. So like you can combine these guys, combine them and make it make it your own. The next one is called Veranda. It's also a two stamp set. Like I said, they're all two stamp sets. Look, we're gonna play with this one today. Okay, I think. I think I'm gonna play with that one. And then look at the, the bigger, Okay, let me let me let's look at this this is why okay so look at that one and then these right that one and those florals there they work perfectly plus the La Campagne and you can make a really really cool design and so I and then even here the little floral in the and then the frames they're all they're all individual you can you can put them together or you can use them however you would like there's a small frame right here but then you could also make your own designs using these and then the the um I don't know what you would call it, these straight lines so that is a lot of fun okay can I get a drum roll I am really proud of what I'm going to show you. I finished it up this morning. I had to do some black waxing. I was painting and I sealed it all up yesterday, but I wanted to get some black waxing and I, I worked on it here in the store. I had such a mess and I had customers come in. I was like, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to scoot over so that you can see the piece of furniture that I did using, is it Joy? What is it? Joy something. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna step, I'm gonna step to this side so that I can show it. Oh my, I'm like, my shirt is all crazy. Um, I absolutely, I love this. I loved the muted colors. And so I wanted to play off of that. And this is available for sale here at the store at Mad City Carpet Barn here in Madisonville, if you're in the area. Um, I still have to, cause I rushed this. So I do have to clean the inside of the drawers. I didn't get to clean it all up as well, but I, the hardware was black. I cleaned it up 
um, and it looks so good. And this is what I did. I'm gonna have a video. I'm gonna try to edit it all tomorrow to post it on YouTube. So I did the whole video. I just have to take some final pictures of it. And I just love the way that it turned out. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this? So I used, for a base coat, I used DIY paint cottage color in gray skies. Thank you, Sherry. And then I did a blending. I was gonna do a more chippy layered look and then as I started painting, it just turned into a blended. Sometimes that happens, like I think I'm gonna do something, but you know, this is a very old piece of furniture that had been discarded and we had to tighten it up a little bit. And um, so I wasn't sure what it was gonna tell me it wanted, you know? I did have to, the finish on the top was, was failing, so I did take that off and I thought I was going to do dark and decrepit, but then I decided I wanted it, I wanted it to be like tonal, all one thing. I wanted it to be moody and I wanted to complement the muted tones of the floral design of the transfer. And I don't know, I hit it out of the park. I love it, I love it. I had somebody walk in and they were like, they stopped and they were staring at it. They were like, wow, that's beautiful. But there are so many muted tones in here and it's meant to look aged. There's like the roses are cracked, like, you know, an old fine piece of art. And so it just lends itself to something, you know, that's really old and worn and really good. So I use a combination of colors and you're going to see that in my video, but I'll tell you it was old school weathered wood and I created two green colors. So you'll have to see the video for that. And then I sealed it with big top. I applied the transfer, I, then I sealed that with Big Top, and then I wanted to wax it. I hadn't waxed furniture in a while. I love the, I love the texture and the look. I haven't buffed it yet because it's still fresh. And then I black waxed it this morning. I black waxed it all in different places. I didn't film that part, so I'll just tell you. I black waxed it all around, even around some of the flowers just to add a little bit of depth and interest and enhance that moodiness. And then of course around the hardware and all across the very bottom, I, I, uh, I black waxed it. And then I black waxed, clear wax and black waxed the entire top because I wanted it, I, I didn't want it to look bright at all, even though it really didn't, um, but I really love the way that it turned out. And I wanna say this is probably one of my new favorite transfers, just because it's so different. It's so different. And I don't think I could have chose wrong um, if I wanted to have, because I, I was going back and forth between this one and the other one. So I can't wait to see what I create with this one. I, I'm not sure yet, but I have lots of furniture to play with, so we'll see. But right now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna move all of this and I'm gonna angle my camera down. Um, you know what I did not bring though? Cause I need, if I, if I use this, I need to condition it. So I do wanna use this stamp set, I think. I think it would be really good. Oh, you, know, you can't see. All right, I'm gonna move my laptop. I'm gonna move it and then I've got clay. We're gonna use clay. We're gonna use IOD uh, ink. I've got my brayer. I've got some stuff here. Okay, so this is what I want to do. First thing is first, let me quickly get something so we can condition this. I usually have sanding sponge here, but literally my counter is full of all of the IOD stuff because I had it sitting here, opening it up, looking at it. Um, 
I need to price it all. And then I was going to bring it to the other store. But first, I don't have a sanding sponge, so I don't want to go all the way to the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one. I want to paint this. I don't even have a heat gun, but let's see what we can get done. I'm going to use vintage linen. I bought these. They're actually brand new. So yes, you can paint metal. Um, with DIY paint. This is actually really thick because it's at the bottom. I don't even want it to be perfect. I want some of the metal to come through. I think. I think I say that. I think. I think so. I think my my brush is creating some lines on here because it's pretty thick. All right, let's put that there to the side. I could get my heat gun. And maybe, maybe I'll just go ahead now. I'll do this one too. So what I'm thinking is I thought this would be so fun to do the um, invitation. Is it invitation only? I have to learn the names of all the new stuff. But I, I had gotten these from a Goodwill a couple weeks ago. They're brand new. They had like a ton. Somebody must have had like an influx of these and then they didn't want them anymore and they took them to Goodwill and they were still in the pack, in the plastic and everything. They were, I mean, they were brand new. And then I also got, let me show you. I should have gotten more but um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna use them, but I've got these too. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one, but we'll have to play with it to do something. And so, let me, yeah, let me get my heat gun really quick. It's right here in my office, which is right on the other side of this wall. You don't want to over brush DIY paint, but my brushes was dry and um, I'm just trying to get some of those lines out of it. Okay. All right, let me get the heat gun real quick. to go live I was like waiting for them to finish and I was like let me on it let me on it because I wanted I haven't played I haven't had a chance to play with any of this stuff so please don't hate me I'm gonna run to the back and get my glue it's a brand new glue I just bought it PVA glue. It was in my office. I use this for junk journaling, but I think it'll work. So let, let's go ahead and I found this little sanding thing. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the new uh, reveal? The Q1. Which one is your favorite? Oh, look at that. Did you see I just did that? Well, that's where the mold's going to go anyway. And my laptop died. <laughs> this gets hot, so you have to be careful. 
and let me know which one is your favorite which one can you not live without I want to know I'm, I think I'm gonna do a second coat I don't have well yeah let me just do a quick second coat um on this one. I don't think I'm gonna do it on that one. I'm just gonna fill it in. And of course this wasn't dry so it's actually coming up. So I'm just gonna, I think that'll do. Let's see. I'm not sure which is my all-time favorite, but I definitely, I knew right away I wanted to use that transfer. So that definitely was a yes for me immediately. And I know we have a lot of tra uh, floral transfers and a lot of people like, you know, I don't like the florals, but there's something for everyone I feel like, you know, if you don't like the florals then you probably really like those specimens <laughs> maybe. Um, the stamps, the, the, the little stamps for junk journaling and labeling. So that's what I was saying, like that, that apothecary, the um, stamp set, the mini stamp set, that's gonna work really great on the frames. Not just the frames that come with the apothecary, but the, the little label molds so that you could, you can actually impress it into the label if you want or create, um, you can create some impressed name plates and then put it over the mold, or you could stamp onto tissue paper and then decoupage it on there. That would be like super fun. Okay, this is almost done. So I'm gonna let that sit there. Try not to burn anything. Uh, Cause I wanna get my hands on the molds. All right, so. Let me, let me put this here first before I mess this up. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna use the small lattice. And maybe I could, I don't know. Use the small lattice and maybe the, maybe I will use the big lattice for the other one. So you just wanna condition it, go in one direction and then the other direction, the very first time you use with any of the stamps, you just want to get some grit, some tooth to it, so that your ink will stay on there. Your ink or your or your paint, whatever you're using. I'm gonna put this here. Alright. I really think that. I'm gonna stamp this first. I'm gonna put my ink here. Is this really dry? Yeah. Okay, I, is this, is this black or is this stone gray? I don't even know. I think it's black. Sometimes I can't tell them apart. Okay. I really do like using my brayer sometimes because you get even and then you're not gonna get it everywhere. Okay, let's see how this does. So this is my first time using it. You saw I just opened it up. My first time playing. And I love that you can do this because it's flexible. So I'm just gonna drop it. I'm gonna hold it. I really like to use the um, mount, the thin mounts with this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be that I don't hit it everywhere. I'd be okay with that. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is so sweet. Should I fill it up? Let me see if I can. Oh, some of the paint came off. Oh, right here. It wasn't totally. That's where it was really, really wet. Just connecting the dots a little bit. I 
think the paint was on there. But that's okay. That's that's okay. All right. And what I'll do is this will go in my sink when I'm done. Is this one dry? I'm going to move this one here so that give it a chance to dry a little bit better. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. Somebody was talking about, you know, everything has to be perfect. And y'all, art is not perfect. Art is not perfect. There is nothing perfect under the sun. The Father in heaven, he's perfect. Um, I'm going to take some of that white paint off of here because I can see that I got some. I think it dried already. No, let me get this off. But art is supposed to be moving and thought provoking and fun and especially the stuff that we create right so don't aim for perfection just have fun and if it doesn't turn out you could always paint over it right you can paint over it you can start over or add to it like get creative put another transfer on top um, add more paint and do a wash over it. There's so many things that you can do, it, you know, to make it your own and make it special. All right, so this one, I'm gonna go right to the top. And if you mess it up, I mean, just, it's just paint. Like it, we're not like solving the world's uh, problems. It's just paint, it's just art, it's just home decor. Like just have fun. That's what I want you to do. I want you to have fun. And don't take it so seriously. I mean, if you're selling, obviously, you know, we do it with excellence as best as we can. But what is excellence? You know, oh, look at that. Like. We're just human. We're, you know, we're just human and we're here just trying to have fun and create pretty things. And that's that's all that we have to do. That's all that matters. Like everything else kind of falls into place and let's just have fun. All right, I'm gonna put this here so this still has to dry. I'm gonna put that there. And then I need my fun mold you know what would be really pretty too with the lattice is if you put some of these on there we might have to play with that all right so the first time you use especially on this big one first time that you use the mold for clay if not for resin, don't do this for resin because it can mess up. I'm going to go ahead. You will definitely, if you're going to do resin, clean this out very well and let it dry. Um, but if you're doing clay, go ahead and get it nice and cornstarched. It's just like cakes, you know, you want it to pop out easily because the more that you tug, the more that you stretch, the more that you mess with the molds, that's when you can get cracks. And I know some people don't like the cracks, so. I'm gonna see what we can do here. So I had toyed with doing these with resin so that I could easily, quickly move, you know, and create some different things. And then I thought, he probably thinks I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Somebody just walked by, was looking at me. Um, but then I thought, no, I really love clay. I really wanna do the clay. Not that I don't love resin, I like resin. Um, but the clay is just, like awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna take off the excess. I have a little bit of clay here. I don't think it's hardened. Sometimes your clay hardens if you get air in it, like if you don't seal that bag all the way, but I always keep my clay in a Ziploc bag. 
So I think... I always crack my knuckles when I do that. All right, so I'm going to, I know I'm gonna need more. I think I'm gonna do a couple of, these leaves are just awesome. I love them. So when you put clay, I mean the cornstarch in here, it wants to lift up. Just get it in there and use your thumb like to start at one end and then kind of push it. You kind of have to hold it down because it, it gets slick. If you have to add clay, just make sure you've incorporated it really well. And then take off the excess. You want a nice flat back. You can use an old credit card or room key. I just usually use my thumb And then when you flip it over, I'll flip it towards you, and you put, pull it back. It just falls out. A lot of times with these leaves, that's what will happen. It'll separate, and actually, that's good, because then I can do whatever I want with it. I mean, you can, you can do anything. You can do anything, my friend said that. You can do anything. We were making fun of her last night. The resin does work really well when things are really dainty. Or you can actually put this in here, put it in your freezer for 10, 15 minutes or longer and then pull it out, let it thaw, and it will come right out. That's a, that's a trick that you can do. I actually did that with the dainty mold because it really is dainty. And um, I was having trouble taking everything out. So I just popped it in the freezer and let it harden up. So the more, see like I tried to kind of demold it for those dainty ones, then turn it upside down and see if it'll pop out. This one didn't have that much cornstarch, so let's see. Yeah, then we can play with those. I think that'll be fun. Okay, I really wanna get my hands on this deer. I think my husband's gonna like it. I don't know, I didn't show it to him. He's probably going to think it's weird and quirky, but that's okay. I really do like the cat also. So I think I'm going to do the deer and the cat. Um, I guess that's a wolf in the the bottom. And then the, like a bulldoggy type dog. I don't know. I'm going to incorporate these. So when it's a bigger mold, I like to get this like a general size, you know, like about what it is and then start working it in. So you can weigh it, because it gives you the measurements on here, or the, not the measurements, but you know, how much you need. That's gonna be really dainty. Let's see, let's see if I can get that out. I don't know. We might have to work on that a little bit. find that if you have to add like I'm gonna add some here I'm gonna do it here I'm gonna add it in here and then mush it because if I do it at where it needs it I've just found that I mess it up you might have um, better success but I'm just going to go like this and then I'm just gonna keep it in my hand tight because I don't want it to dry out. Because I mean, it's air dry clay. So it dries um, once the air hits it. It gets starts getting a little bit of a crust, like in about an hour or so, or even less. But 
I find that when I paint it right away, it does well. But you have to have a soft touch. That's the, that's the key if you're going to paint it because you don't want to mess up all of the beautiful detail. So these molds are so intricate. And like I said, you definitely you want a flat back because you want it to adhere. That's why sometimes using a, like a squeegee or a credit card works really well. But the patent pending edging helps you, the trim, the rim, helps you to get a crisp line so as you're running your thumb over it see it cleans up the edges automatically for you all right so i'm gonna take this excess and i'm gonna plop it in here if you have any old crusty mold i mean clay in there make sure you take it out before you put new mold in there like especially like sometimes you know, I don't clean it out right away, and then I've left mold a clay in there, and it gets hard. Don't mix that in with your new clay. Clean it out. Okay. Let me see, got his ears. I need his ears. It's so funny because I never would have liked this back in the day. It's amazing just how your taste changes, especially when you see other creatives do things like, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. You know, I wouldn't have thought to do that, but that's kind of cool. Or you go to Hobby Lobby. Like whenever I go to Hobby Lobby, I walk around and I look at the stuff that they're doing, what's trending, and um, and I'm like, okay, I can do that. I can do something like that. I can be inspired by that. Um, which, this is kind of lumpy. I want this to be straight. Okay. Usually if you had something like this small, it could get hard, but I'm just going to shove it in there. And then I always try to make sure that I seal this back up right away as soon as possible. Take all the air out and then seal it. And then the other thing that I struggle with is making sure that these little pieces don't fall on the floor, which they did. They did. And then I step on them, and then um, it gets embedded into my floor. <laughs> so I'm going to, I have a broom right here. I'm just gonna sweep this up so that I don't step on it. So that's what I don't want. I don't want this on the floor. Okay, if it dries on top, that's okay. All right, look how it just falls out. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Y'all, wait till you see the details. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did really good. The cornstarch worked. Oh my gosh, y'all. So if you have any extra, I'm just gonna take that off. Look at that. Look at that detail. His whiskers, everything. And look at Mr. Man. Look at that. Y'all, give me some hearts for that. And you know what? I like his thing got a little gnarly because that's real life. You know, we're deer hunters here. And um, I see all kinds of gnarly deer. Like, you'd be surprised. Um, I think this one doesn't. I may have to. Uh-oh. Am I going to be able to open it? There we go. I'm going to pour some glue out. I don't want to mess it up. Pour some glue out here. And then I'm going to 
get really dirty. So I'm trying to think. My daughter is going to love this, I think. <laughs> I want Mr. Man on this one. Wait, is that a deer? Is that a... That is... Or a cow. I thought it was... I, I you know, I looked at it and I thought it... It was a deer, but then now I'm looking at the face. What does it say on here? It doesn't say, but it kind of does look like a, like a deer. It look, I think it's a deer. It's just the nose is a little bit weird, but on, I don't know. Whatever it is, I like it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some glue. You want an even layer and you wanna make sure that you get your edges. I usually use Type Bond Quick and Thick because it's um, thick, it doesn't move, and then it um, it dries clear. I'm trying not to. It's goopy. So what you want to do is without pressing too hard, because you don't want to take away the beautiful design, you know, so you want to just, but you want to make sure and periodically you may have to go and just get it connected. Once it dries, if it's not connected, if you have some gaps, like see how like, there's a little bit of gaps right there. So I'm just like pressing in. If there are any gaps, get some Alex Dry, Alex Fast Dry caulking, and you can, oh, oh, I just smudged his ear when I picked it up. <laughs> All right, let me put him here. And then you can caulk around the sides, okay? So it's not a big deal. You could also, any, any Anything that you can fill it with. You can fill it with paint, even. Modeling paste, just so. I'm thickening it up. I'm gonna get those little, little pieces up here, because I don't want that to pull up. So, getting that nice and all around. Okay. And because this is at an curved, the clay just goes right where it needs to go and it just contours with it. And if you do the resin, you can do the same thing. If you're doing, if you demold it right away, you can get it on there and get the, get it to do the, whatever it is that you have, you're putting it on it'll just contour right to it. You can use a heat gun with the resin if it starts hardening up. Okay, so now I want to add some of these cute little flowers, leaves, onto the fence, right? Like the little lattice. I'm gonna do these on here. I'm gonna have it come, have it kind of like, so you can see the lattice. There we go. Actually, I want it, I want some here. Like it's growing. I need a little bit more glue, just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, 
In a perfect world, if I was not alive, I would have done this and then sealed it. And the reason I would have sealed it is so that I can paint my critter. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna have to make some more. One, two, three, four, yeah. I like I like odd numbers, so. And maybe I could do this one growing out of here. So yeah, you can rearrange it. So you can you can make the design your own because of the way that it goes. You can separate them and see how I just put them all around. And then that one couple of them broke. So I just added them to where I wanted. I love this. So what I'm gonna do is I will seal this so that I, when I paint him and then I do a wash or a glaze or maybe dark and decrepit, all of his details, all of the leaf details are gonna pop and you'll be able to see everything. But if you like it like this, just white, you could leave it white. You don't have to paint it. You can leave the clay white if that's what you want. I think I need, I wanna put some leaves on this one. Let me clean my hands a little bit. Let me see, do I need some more? I think I want to do some of the small ones again. Oh, that's like a lot. That's extra. But see, you have these little leaves too. Okay, let's see how that goes. I love Reveal Day because it's exciting. Everyone is like happy, excited. So much fun and we have so much like I just did the decoupage queen so I still have some of that left I think I'm gonna decoupage this one with one of the new papers <coughs> excuse me that was my intention but then when I saw the lattice I knew that I wanted to use the lattice I think the lattice would be really pretty on the sides of drawers as well did I say that before because I, I really think that would be really nice I toyed with that idea, but I also toyed with the idea of the little uh, roses on on the stamps, the new stamps, the ones that look like La Campaign and creating like a really pretty, I think I am gonna do that. I have to figure out though what color I wanna paint the sides of the drawers. Um, I, Cause I don't think that I want white, but I think I want a little pop of color. So I think I'm gonna play with that. Let me know in the comments, um, what color do you think would be a really cool color? There's so many colors in the transfer. There's yellows and orange and greens and blues and grays. And I could do, honestly, I could do the cottage color blue uh, gray skies because it's a blue gray and I have that already uh, in there. So that's, I, I think I answered my own question. I think that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> because I have it on the top to the drawers already. So that would make it make sense. And you, I mean, it's peeking out there. It's a layer and you can, you know, it's not in your face, but I think it would be a nice little pop of color and then have the stamped, black florals and the, the flowers you know I think they work with the transfer so I will I will do that and I, I probably need to do that today actually because I want to take a picture of it all and make the video so if my if the video is not up tomorrow it's because of the drawers <laughs> So, um, 
that's going to be the thing that's going to hold me up. But I think that that, I think it needs it. I think that's a nice little touch. So I'm going to work on it as soon as I get off this live. And then I'll let this stuff dry and play with it next week. Maybe I'll finish it on my live on Tuesday and then I'll add to this using the new IOD stuff and maybe the decoupage papers. Um, that might be fun. Although I have a few things that I'm holding out on because I'm waiting on the new DIY paint that's coming. How many of you know that we have six new colors coming for the, in the cottage color line? Oh my gosh, so exciting. There's just so much happening. All right, I'm gonna tape that. If you're careful, you can do it this way. I just think it's better to lay it flat and turn it over. It's less messing with it, but when you have the cornstarch, it does make it pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. I didn't need that many, but I didn't know what I wanted. Oop, well. We'll just put them there. And you can layer. You can layer these on top of each other too to make your own unique design. That's always super fun. I think I'm gonna cover up my faux pas here with these. See what I mean? Like, it's okay. There we go. And then because I like threes, I like oh my gosh, that is so cute. So just periodically check, make sure it's sitting on here. I think I'm gonna add All right, let's see. I feel like I'm pretty heavy on that side. I'm gonna separate this. I'm gonna put this one here. Actually, there's like a broken leaf right there. So I'm just gonna attach this one. And then I'm gonna put this one No, I kind of like it like this on its own. A lone leaf. I'm gonna rip that off. This is so cool, so cool. All right. Happy IOD reveal day. I'm gonna give you one more look at my my piece here that I created with the new Joy uh, transfer, Joy something. <laughs> cottage, cottage, I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but it has Joy in it. Um, J-O-I-E. Uh, do I have stuff all over me? Yep, I have cornstarch on me. That's okay. So this is it. I really do, I, I'm so glad the hardware had that brassy look because it picks up the tones on the bird. Um, 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this off of the thing and we're gonna go for a ride, okay? This way, let me see. Okay, sorry. This way you can see it up close. I still have my stool here where I was working on it, black waxing it. So this way you can kind of see the colors a little bit better. See what I mean about the brass and the, the tone with the wood, with the bird, right? And even some of the leaves. And see how it's meant to be cracked so it doesn't have to be perfect. I love that. It's already distressed for you. And of course, if you, if you need um, some help, definitely watch my video and see how I put this together. It comes in eight pages and then you just have to piece it together. But if you want to separate it, you can. You can cut them and you can make it your own. I decided that I wanted the whole thing together because I really like the way that it looked. I feel like this is a great way to incorporate florals in your house if you have like a husband that doesn't like florals. Um, it's not so in your face. And I have the bright light on it, so it's a, it looks a little bit brighter than what it is. But I still feel like it's still moody. Like, because just the paint colors that I use, there's, you know, blending all different kinds of colors. Oh, I use prairie gray as well. That was one of the colors that I used in here. So, anyway, so here you go. A nice quick look. I've got to, um, I'm going to do the drawers, so... See the cottage colors up here? I didn't paint over it, so I think I'm gonna do the drawers on the side, and that'd be my pop of color, and then I'm gonna stamp it. So I think that'll be really, really good. All right, y'all, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for spreading this out to other people. And don't forget to go on my website to pick up the your favorites. And I will look forward to hearing from you, and I will talk to you next week.